Welcome to our Jenkins tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Jenkins pipelines. Our viewer is unsure about where to place the wrapper for the ANSI color Jenkins plugin in a declarative pipeline. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To integrate the ANSI color plugin into your Jenkins pipeline, you need to wrap the commands that produce ANSI colored output. This is done using the wrap function. In your Jenkins file, you can place the wrap function inside the steps of a stage. This allows you to apply the color formatting to specific commands. For your simple Jenkins file, you can modify the initialized stage to include the wrap function around the shell commands that output ANSI colored text. You can also choose to wrap each stage individually if you have multiple stages that require ANSI color output. This gives you flexibility in how you apply the color formatting. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In a scripted Jenkins pipeline, you can wrap your commands with the ANSI color plugin to enable colored output. Here's how to do it. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Bye.